Today's episode is brought to you by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. So you want to cruise like a pro. Guess what? You can. We've got 10 things that seasoned cruisers do that can totally enhance your cruise experience and save you time and trouble. Sit back, relax, and grab a cocktail because these 10 tips will up-level your cruise game and have you cruising like a boss in no time. Let's start with a big one. Cruisers in the know almost always travel with a passport. Sure, you can manage a closed loop cruise with a birth certificate and photo ID, but it's much easier and less risky to invest in a passport. Trust us on this one. Now, veteran seafarers also typically pack less stuff. That doesn't mean they go without shampoo for a week and wear the same shoes every day, but they've got a firm grasp on what they need and what they don't need for a cruise. And over time, they've learned that trimming the stuff means trimming the stress. Now, using a travel agent may seem like it wouldn't make sense for experienced cruisers, but it does, and here's why. Experienced travelers take the time to build a relationship with a travel agent who can save them time and money. Travel agents are the ones who pick up the phone if something goes wrong before the cruise, if a price needs to be adjusted, or if you want to make changes to your booking. How would you rather spend your time? On the phone with a cruise line or working on your tan? Enough said. People who have been cruising for a while also tend to take control of when they show up to the port on embarkation day. They either show up early or relatively late to avoid the midday crowds. Now, we are early people, but we know lots of seasoned cruisers who push that all aboard time to the later hours for one reason or another. It's up to you. But avoiding the midday check-in crowds is a nice way to start your vacay in a more mellow mood. Cruisers who have been around the block also reprice their cruises now and then. They rely on their travel agents to watch the prices, but they also set a price alert to make sure they get an email when and if the price of their cruise goes down. Now we'll explain how to do that in the description box. Cruise gurus also protect their travel investments and buy travel insurance. It takes just one medical emergency on board or an expensive flight reroute to learn this lesson. So take it from us. Travel insurance is your friend. Saving money on a cruise is usually a big priority for experienced cruisers. The more you save, the more you cruise. So they leverage date flexibility when booking a cruise as a way to save money. They will look at the same cruise on several different dates to see which one offers more value and sometimes even hunt for ultra low cruise prices at random dates to find those rare super deals. Deals are out there folks, but it helps to be flexible about when you'll cruise if you want to employ this ninja strategy. We've also found that the more someone cruises, the more they weigh their options before booking shore excursions directly with the cruise line. Comparing prices with outside excursion vendors can save loads of dough, and most carry the same return-to-ship guarantees that the ship does. Give this a try on your next cruise and see if the smaller crowds and lower prices are worth it for you. Now, cruise loyalists also know they can consider the option to book airfare through the cruise line. It's not always the best option nor the cheapest, but if your cruise line offers it, it's worth checking into. We've had excellent luck with Princess Easy Air and Royal Caribbean's Air to Sea programs, and in both cases, we saved money on the tickets and our flights were fully guaranteed in the event of a delay or change. Not too shabby. Now, lastly, experienced cruisers know to expect itinerary changes and read their passenger contract, particularly when cruising during storm or shoulder seasons. Weather happens. You're on a floating vessel. The cruise line doesn't want to change your itinerary unless they have to go around a storm or some other weather event, but they're going to keep you safe. And itinerary changes are par for the course when you're traveling by sea. So what do you think? Are you ready to hit the high seas with a newfound sense of confidence? 
You've got this. All right, all you expert cruisers out there, tell us what tactics we have missed in the comments below. And if you're new to cruising and you'd like to invest in a crash course, check out our Intro to Cruising Masterclass in the description. That's it for now, my friends. We hope you found this helpful. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.